Hey guys, welcome back to Heart Breathings. I had hoped to have a video for you today resetting my Kanban board, but plans have been just needing to stay a little bit more flexible than normal as we are going through an unprecedented time, an uncertain time. So I have not had a chance to reset my Kanban board and set up all of my Q2 planning yet. So instead today I am just going to do an April planner flip through. Sorry, the camera's moving around. Um, I'm just going to do an April planner flip through for you and hopefully you'll really enjoy that. And hopefully later this week I will have a full Kanban board reset. I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. So if you've been looking forward to kind of seeing how I'm going to plan, despite all the uncertainties and the homeschooling that's being added and things like that, then stay tuned. That will be up later this week. I also just wanted to take a second to let you guys know that I am actually reading one of my books. This has never been published. It's an original story. I'm actually editing it and writing it as I go. So this is called The Witch's Key and I'm doing it over on my other YouTube channel, Sarah Cannon. It's just youtube.com slash Sarah Cannon. I've got a link for you down below if you want to join me. I'm doing daily live video readings of this. It takes about 30 minutes a day and it's at 4 p.m. Eastern. I would love your support. Down below, I'm also going to link the playlist for you of the um, six episodes that I've done so far. So this is just a fun book that I decided to do to kind of give us something, not only me something to look forward to, but also my fans and readers something to look forward to every day. So if you want to check out that book, it is a wide a paranormal mystery and it's called the witch's key so i would love for you to come join me come subscribe you can watch the videos live every day at 4 p.m i'll start with episode 7 tomorrow um, i also have a vlog up today over there that is a vlog of how i transformed my gaming space upstairs that i share with my husband and my son and that is also where i'm doing the majority of my writing these days so if you're interested in seeing that head over to check that out and for now i'm going to show you my april planner flip through Hey guys, I am so excited to show you the inside of my very exciting brand new Kiki K planner in mint. I also have one in their dusty rose, which is one of their, um, you know, current colors that's online. They currently have a sale of 40% off going on. And I think that it's because they just went into receivership, which is not a great thing. I think in Australia, that might be something similar to bring bankruptcy or something like that. So I'm very, very sad to say that Kiki K might be going out of business. I really hope they're not. But if you go to their website right now, you can see that they have stuff up to 50% off and it looks like everything's kind of on clearance. So I had actually purchased this planner and the Dusty Rose one before they announced that, but it was on sale and I thought, okay, usually these planners are like 75 to $80 for the binders. And it does come with a lot of stuff inside, but I've replaced all the stuff that comes inside with it. But these are by far my favorite binders because they're real leather, they're very beautiful, the quality is amazing, and they really hold up well. So so I'm very, very sad to say they might be going out of business. If you've always wanted a Kiki K planner, now might be the time to go ahead and grab one because they're on sale. They might continue to be on sale. Of course, the biggest thing is that you do have to pay usually shipping from Australia to the US and you might not want to be shopping online as much right now. But with that all being said, I did get this along with some other things. I may be placing another order coming up soon, but this is the beautiful mint color of the Kiki K planner. Just to show you the other one that I got, this one is called Dusty Rose. It is a very classy looking color of planner. And these planners do come with a bunch of inserts. So you do get some tabs, you get some stickers, and you get some uh, weekly spreads and a lot of note pages and different things like that graph paper and then a little notebook in the back the dusty rose has rose gold rings to it and it's just really beautiful but I don't typically use the inserts that come inside the planners because I like to set up my own inserts, which is for me, one of the biggest perks of having a ring binder planners that you can, you know, customize it to be your own. So this is the mint color. I also got the matching pin to it. And I've mentioned this before in my notebook video that these Kiki K pins that are the metal rollerball pins are some of my favorites because I love the way they feel in my hand. They're always so pretty, but even though the insert, the gel pen that comes with this is nice, I prefer to actually put in the Pilot Precise V5 
inserts into this that you can get off of Amazon for relatively inexpensively and they do last a long time and it's just this really nice super fine point pen that goes inside and I just love that you can put those inside these pens so these are currently only I think eight dollars on the website they're usually 17 so might be a good time to grab one if you've thought about something like that and you really like some nice like pens that you can refill and reuse over and over so let's open this up I love how this planner turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of apologize in advance for some of the lighting here because I've got my ring lights on and I'm actually recording this on the floor in my office because <laughs> there's just so much going on right now and I just didn't need the stress of like trying to clean off everything in my office to <laughs> to make a space for recording this. So this is kind of the best I can do with the lighting and I apologize. So when you open it up right away, there's some nice pockets here on the left side along with a zipper. In the zipper pocket, I have done my stickers. This is like a little sticker pouch. So again, I'll mention this again, even though I mention it in all of my setup videos, just in case someone is new to my videos. I typically tend to set up my ring binders, a different color of ring binder every single month. And I love to use the planner press digital dash box because this is like a digital $10 a month subscription that you get all these amazing designs that you can print and laminate yourself at home. And I just love that you got a fresh look looking planner every month. So this month she has a pretty little pouch that you can create. You just do two sides, cut them out and laminate them together. And then I've got all my cute little stickers. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you also saw that recently I just got a huge haul in from very cute designs. She's one of my stick favorite sticker shops on Etsy. So I got a ton of new stickers in from her as well as I have a lot of Coffee Monsters Co and various Etsy shop type stickers in this. Now, this month's planner pouch is really thin, but my stickers do happen to fit inside of it. So I've been keeping that in the little zipper pouch. I just have a little journaling card in the back there. And then here in the pockets, I have this super cute new bow clip that I got from scheduled planners. And then this ephemera type stuff all came inside the digital dash box. And then I just have a few little quote cards. This also came from the digital dash box, a little new year, new me from the coffee monsters co. And then this little girl in a teacup is from posh pieces with Melissa, which I don't think her Etsy shop exists anymore, but she might still be on Facebook, but it's so cute. I also got one that was more of like an Alice in Wonderland, but I like this one and it seemed to kind of with that teal bow match this month's setup. I also have a little Hermione down here that she kind of travels with me to all of my different planners, but I'm loving this little clip here. I think it's so pretty. Then the actual dashboards themselves, you can, you know, print them out however you want front and back. And then you can, of course, decide which one you want to go in the front. So I've used this one and I love that it's a girl like walking out in the spring with our Starbucks because this is like so much the life I wish I could have right now. I am an extrovert and I am at home and kind of struggling to be honest. So let me know in the comments how you're doing, if you're enjoying this kind of introverted time at home or if you're struggling like me because you just want to be out. Out. Okay, so then this little rose design is another one of the dashboards along with some sticky notes. So these little Hello Spring sticky notes are from the digital dash box this month. And basically you just need white post-its and you can print her design onto your own post-it notes, which is so cute. Some family photos. I keep saying I'm gonna update these and I just haven't had time. Um, then she also has these little side tabs. So these are tabs that you can print front and back and then you can just use your laminating paper to create the sheet. And she actually did include some little words to go on the side tabs that I haven't printed out yet, but I'm going to do that soon. So this first section in my planner is actually just like a lists section, as well as a calendar overview of 2020 and 2021. If you like the look of some of my inserts, these are in my own Etsy shop called Heart Breathings, and I'll link for that down below. This is from my HB90 quarterly planner. I used to have in this very first section used to be basically all my goal setting pages, but now I have those in a separate planner so that it's not so bulky, but I do sometimes make lists in this first section and kind of do pre-planning for the year. 
Then this is the next dashboard that says just bloom. And then on the back, I just have that same girl in the, in the uh, cherry blossoms and I just have it covered in post-it notes. And these are not actually post-its here. These are, um, actually this one is a post-it. Some of these are not post-its though. Some of them are just pieces of paper that I've taped onto here so that I can use them. Another little side tab and this second section in my planner is all my months. So this is the monthly spreads for the entire year. And I designed these myself and these are for sale either as just the 12 months for only like a couple dollars in my Etsy shop, or you can get these inside the quarterly planner as well. I haven't actually been planning my months out so much this year because it's just been so busy, but I do refer back to these to like say, oh, what the Thursday is at the ninth and so on. So I have been referencing them, but I just haven't been like decorating them. I have a few little vellum sheets in here from Planner Press as well on Etsy. Here's another one of the digital dash box designs. And then here's that same Just Bloom with some sticky notes on the back there. Another side tab, another vellum sheet. And then this has been in my planner for most of this year. It's a pocket folder. So this is something that came in the digital dash box, I think maybe for January or February. Um, you know what, actually, I think this was one from last year that was in her birthday kit, come to think of it. And you can just create them yourself by creating these little pockets and laminating everything. And then I just keep extra stickers in here and I've been loving having that. And she hasn't included a new pocket in the da latest digital dash boxes. So I'm just using that one over and over. But this next section is basically my daily and weekly planner spread. So I have another one of these really cute bows from scheduled planners that I love. And then this is just my, basically my daily weekly planner for the entire month of April. So I have kind of a dashboard where I list out my tasks for the week and my work in progress that I'm working on is because I'm a writer. Then the next spread is just my weekly spread that has the seven days where I like to plan everything. And then I have a habit tracker and then these are my daily spreads. So hopefully you can see that with the lighting here. So the daily spreads have a section here for time tracking or for sets, making your schedule for the day. Then I like to use this section for all my tasks for the day, a little bit of journaling about how my anxiety was because I'm really working on my mental health and trying to decrease my anxiety. And then if I'm doing any writing sprints for the day, I track it over here. And I'm a little bit bummed because my printer seemed to be kind of running out of ink. So some of these in the lines aren't as black as I want them to be. So I may end up reprinting, but I tend to keep an entire month in my planner all at once. And then I have a few notes pages at the back. This is the next of the dash box dashboards. And I just printed the same one on the back with more of those sticky notes, some more photos and another side tab here. And then we have something that I've been mentioning for months that has still not gone on the market, which is my social media planner. I've been working on this, designing it for a while, and I have been using it myself a little bit, but it's just something that kind of fell by the wayside last quarter that I'm hoping I have time to do this quarter that has a blog post planner, some blog post topics. It has a hashtag tracker. And then it has basically a monthly spread for your blog or for your social media. And then it has weekly spreads for your social media where you can track up to five different social medias. I'm going to change this to put a growth tracker, I think here, and we'll just see kind of how it goes. I'm hoping that I can get this. I know that so many of you have been looking forward to having a social media planner that you can print out for yourself and I just haven't had time. So hopefully this upcoming quarter is going to be the time that I finally get that up on Etsy. So <laughs> hopefully that will be here. I also have my little baby sitting next to me because my husband had to set her down here for just a minute. So I've got her by me. If you hear any little noises, that's just Evie. This little bird with the sweet girl holding it is another one of the dashboards for this month. And then some more sticky, sticky notes from previous months, another side tab, some more photos of my book covers. And then I also have this little section here that is my writing plan and word count tracker. And what I like to do is when I start a new book, 
I'll put the book title and then my like anticipated start dates on everything and then a word count tracker on the back. And I like to use this as a writing plan. If you sign up for my newsletter list, which there's a link for it down below, you get this writing plan for free, but it also comes in the HB90 planner. So this right here is a Hogwarts library card from Copper Boom Studios. And I did a really good job last year of tracking any books that I read on one of these library cards. These are just printables but I just haven't had as much time this year to read because I've been so busy. So let me know if you're getting a lot of reading done during this time or just not able to concentrate on reading. I would love to know. I have a little note here of different content buckets, which is another thing that will go in my social media planner. Then I have a, another one of the digital dash box dashboards. And this is another look at that rose one from the beginning. Then I do have a second social media planner in here because I have kind of two businesses of two social medias. So I have one that it's my Sarah Cannon stuff that's for my readers and then Heart Breathings, which you're watching on this channel is more for writers. So I have two sets of social media to keep track of. Um, so I do have two planners set in here. And like I said, hopefully I will be using this. I have like a couple of months worth. Hi. I have a couple months worth of stuff in here, like pages. So we'll see, hopefully this is the quarter where I'll really be using those. And then I have a stats tracker as well. Then the final dashboard from this month is this cute little lamb. And then I just have more roses on it. And then this back section is just for some stickers and this little plastic card came with the planner. And then I do have the little, notes pad in the back here. So that is my setup for the month of April. And I really love the way it turned out. I'm really excited to use this beautiful leather Kiki K planner. It closes really nicely. And actually this one has two sets of snaps. So I guess that you could snap it tighter if you don't have it super full, or you could snap it on the lesser snap if you've got it really full. And that's one of the things I do like about the Kiki K planners is they're not super rigid on the side. So you can really stack them full of stuff if you want to in the pockets. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. Like I said in the intro, I do have some more videos coming up for you, but I'm just gonna be a little bit off schedule. So give me a little bit of space to be able to um, kind of get my schedule back on track because I'm gonna be homeschooling my son in addition to everything else I have going on. But I have really been enjoying kind of leaning into my writing. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have not been writing as much as I wanted to over the last year and a half. So it's been amazing to me to be writing this story. It's a story that I started a few years back and I'm editing it and adding to it and really writing it and polishing it every night before the episode starts the day after. So it's just been a lot of writing, a lot of fun, and it's giving me something to look forward to every day. So I would love for you to join me while I'm reading The Witch's Key every day live at 4 p.m. I will have the link to my other YouTube channel, my Sarah Cannon YouTube channel, down below for you to come join those, as well as a link to the playlist of my readings so far. As of right now, <laughs> Hi, Evie. As of my readings right now, I have six episodes done and episode seven will come out tomorrow. I would love, love, love your support. We've had about a hundred people there a day and I would love to get that number up a little bit higher. So come join us every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That is 1 p.m. Pacific time and I think it's 10 p.m. in the UK, but you'd have to do um, a time zone converter. I'll put the time zone converter down below for you. My time Eastern time is New York time. So you can just use that time zone converter and you can get an idea of what time it is for you. Um, also, you can always watch the replays too because they do go up there as well. So that's been where a lot of my focus is going and that is the project, which is key is the project I'm working on for Camp Nano. I had hoped to have an entire like set of videos for how I'm preparing for Camp Nano NaNoWriMo and that just kind of went by the wayside with everything else that's going on. So I still will update you guys on what I'm doing for Camp Nano and how that's going so far. And I also am going to do a Q2 update. Um, and I've got more videos on how to write a series and how I'm starting a series Bible um, coming up as well. So definitely subscribe to my channel, check out my videos and comment down below and just let me know how you're doing. I love you guys. I appreciate you all so much. So thanks for being a part of this Heart Breathings community. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. And um, 
thank you for you know just kind of being patient through this transition as well as all these little baby noises <laughs> all right you guys i will talk to you soon and i hope you're doing well see you in my next video bye